what is up guys it is your boy main mania and welcome back to another episode of mk mobile ladies and gentlemen we are back at the top of the fatal tower for the very last time as the tower is going to be ending in a couple of days and um not much new going on in this game uh you know still working on my piece of strength the newer characters now we have onslaught Jax. thank goodness he doesn't have to kill 500 of anybody, even though I'm not sure how valid that is, because I don't trust when it says we don't have to kill or we have to kill 500 of this character because they have been wrong for the past couple of updates now. And, and, and knowing how long it took them to fix when Jade's was wrong, when Jade used to when, uh, when Tanya's were wrong and it said Tanya's needed to kill Kitana's hey, listen. when Tanya's need to actually kill is it the other way around? Yeah, Tanya needed to kill Katana's when Tanya actually needed to kill Jade's. It took them so long to fix that, like literally years, that I don't know what's going to be there. But we haven't worked on his challenge mode kills just yet. We're working on that soon. Faction Wars we're not worrying about. Special ones and twos we're not going to worry about yet or combo enders. But we did start working on his uh, tower battles. So we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, I always find it weird whenever one character on one version of the character, he has to kill this type of character or this many of this, but on another version of the same character, it's different. So for Jax, I was kind of basing it off of heavy weapons Jax since he's the other gold Jax. And it's so different here that I was just kind of like, hmm, I don't know how valid it is, but if it's valid, it's valid. I'm not going to argue it because it's not somebody I'm going to be grinding anyways. Uh, I'm not really I mean, I am grinding some of my top tier golds, but I'm not going to make my way through all of the goals. I just don't have time for that. It's not fun. That's not enjoyable for me. That's just, you know, extra shit to do while you play the game. So if you're going to do battles, you're going to play, you know, faction wars, you're going to do those things and you want to grind up the characters that make the most sense to do it. Cool. Not a big issue, but I'm not going to go out of my way to grind those things for like useless characters. You know, it is nice to say I have all of, you know, every character in the game has all of the challenge mode wins, you know, all of their battle mode wins, AKA their advent tower wins now. It is cool to say that. However, once again, outside of that, I'm not doing that for faction wars, for special ones, special twos, for like goals I'm never gonna use, especially these gatekeeping goals that is probably gonna take years to max out because the devs are being super, super stingy with them. So that's being that, guys. Let's go ahead and jump on in the battle uh, from the last fatal. I haven't gotten any drops this run, unfortunately. Uh, the run I got I had before that I had two drops of the same epic, but I, I didn't get anything this entire run. So makes me a little sad, but we are using the last epic that we got in the last fatal 200 on uh, Strike Force Scorpion, aka SOS. And um, let's see if we can have a successful battle. I feel like this battle can fall apart so quickly and so easily once you get snared or stunned and then you get combo followed up. I just feel like this battle can go south so quickly. So let's hope everything goes accordingly. We're going to try to go for a special one here. We got the shield break plus the curse, which is the combination we're looking for. If we can get this first early kill. That would be golden. We do have him snared, though. And I do believe Scorpion's going to get this kill, which would be phenomenal because that was going to mean he's going to get the buff from his piece. I'm going to cause curse and tag out immediately. And so far, so smooth. We didn't get the um, shield break on this special two, which would have been ideal. We didn't get it, but not a big deal. Uh, let's go for a quick. You got the shield break on this one. Um, I don't want to go get too greedy. We're having a phenomenal run. Like it's a, There's actually a chance we can do this in one right now. That stun right there. That's what I'm talking about, man. You know what? We're tagging out. Can't. We just got snared. So there we go, guys. This is how the run falls apart. This is literally it. This is literally how everything falls apart. We are snared. We're going to try to... Uh, we can't heal because of Hell's Gate. But we are going to try to preserve. We're going to try to preserve SOS for our saves. But this is how quickly the run can fall apart. Um, still stunned for a little while. Let's hope we don't get stunned again on this. 
Well, that happened. And the follow-up kill. Yep. I'm going to use this anyways because I, I don't want, whatchamacallit, tagging in and out. Please reject that. Well, we well once again, guys, we had it. This was our, this was our run, but unfortunately, don't get stunned, please. We had it. This was this was our one shot, and SOS got stunned, man. It 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 sucks so bad. We had it, we had it. This was the run. Smooth sailing until one snare, and everything fell apart from that. So unfortunate, but it is what it is. One stinking snare, y'all. One stinking snare. There is one of the um one of the uncommon pieces that gives you a chance to um dispel on special one. Maybe for this battle, that would have been a good idea. Cause Scorpion's the worst person that can happen to. If that happens to Johnny, no big deal because he can res, right? But Scorpion is the worst person that can get snared, unfortunately. This run is like going like nothing right now. Jesus. We're gonna tag out early. Let's cycle this real quick. We're gonna cause curse and get out. And now it should be smooth sailing. Should have just went for it too, but just in case he counterattacked it, I wanted a backup special. And that should be game. Yeah, man. It is what it is, though. Had a really good chance to do it, but um, unfortunately, we did not have any kind of dispel on Scorpion, and he was just kind of stuck in Hell's Gate and basically defenseless at that point. So it is what it is. We're not going to complain. We're just going to keep on moving through. And uh, y'all know the, the deal, man. Cross your fingers for your boy. We'll take those dragon crystals and that useless border. And uh, finally, let's hope we can get the Raiden piece. We still have not gotten the Tempest Poppycock that we need for Raiden's Epic. So let's hope we can get that because, it, you know, Raiden's one of my mains in this game. He's one of the characters I play the most, especially IJ2. So... Let's hope we can finally get it, y'all. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Well, that hurts. That definitely hurts, y'all. I just wanted the Raiden piece, man. You know? Can a brother please get Raiden's friendship, though? At least we got a diamond we needed. I, you know, can a brother just at least get the Raiden friendship? That just... Ah, it is what it is. Well, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, man, uh, not much going on in this game. I believe we have the Twisted Tower coming up next, and we have uh, the Action Movie Tower coming back as well. So those are the two towers I believe are on deck once this tower ends. Other than that, I, I kind of do feel like we're at the tail end of MK Mobile. Uh, not trying to sound doom or gloom, just, you know, speaking realistically. Uh, this game had a good run for years, but they did lay off so many of their devs that uh, I don't feel like anything new will be coming. It'll just be a constant recycling of events and of things of that nature. So this definitely brought down my desire to play the game. And, and as I mentioned in the last episode, you know, I, I did. I do miss, you know, severely. I do miss playing other games. You know, I do miss, you know, uh, playing my PS5 you know, and playing Zelda on my Switch. Uh, I, I missed that a lot. I definitely missed that a lot, and I've been thinking about it a lot. And I feel like I'm at the tail end of it. I got some soundproofing and stuff. I just haven't put it up yet. And I actually was going to install it before today's episode, and then I just kind of said to myself, because it's, you know, it is going, it's going to go on the wall, potentially making a mess, depending on how strong the adhesive is. I, I just said to myself, you know, I don't really know if... I should have bought it in the same colors as the theme of this room. The theme of the room is red and black. I feel like I probably should have just got the soundproofing in just white. 
so that it blends into the wall and it doesn't distract from the rest of the room. Like I literally was like lining it up on the wall because I wanted to test it out for today's episode. And then I just like, I don't have the time to do that. It's going to be, it's going to take a good amount of time to get everything up and everything like that. Um, especially in the pattern and stuff that I want it up in. But then I had to really sit there and think about it. And I was like, I probably should have just got it in white. So at least it will, it'll match the walls. And even though you can see something's there, it's not distracting from the rest of the room. I kind of feel like too much color in the room could potentially, you know, take away from the rest of the room. So funny enough, I literally finally got it, finally was about to make a project to put it up. And then I kind of still found a way to not seal the deal. And it's because I rent here. I don't own this. And it's like the last thing I want to do is destroy the walls and end up having to pay for it or end up having to pay somebody to fix it before I move out and then they try to steal my security deposit. So I am trying so hard to not have that happen. So I, I maybe that's the reason why I'm being so careful about it. But nonetheless, y'all, that is where I'm gonna wrap up today. I um, came back from Europe uh, and it's funny because before I went on Europe, I was on a nice diet. I was eating good. I was eating so much lean proteins. I was eating so much fish, so much turkey. Everything that I know agrees well with my body and I feel good after I'm done eating. And I came back, I started eating red meat again. I started eating late before I fall asleep again. I started eating after 8 p.m. again. And guys, I've already put back on seven pounds since I've gotten back. And I'm over here like, listen, man, you are not getting any younger, man. You are not getting any younger, bro. You got to get your diet right back in check. Yeah, I'm like saying to myself like, yo, all right, I, I got to get a gym membership. I'm going to have to start working now. I'm going to have to start doing something because I feel horrible. Like I feel terrible. I do not feel well at all. I feel like my body has just drastically slowed down since I, um, you know, since I got back from Europe and basically decided that I'm going to eat whatever I want for the rest of the summer. <laughs> I feel like I'm at the age where I don't get to make those decisions. Like I don't get to play around like that. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm at the age now where like, I don't really get to be reckless. I have to stay on point because my body is definitely not as fast as it used to be. My metabolism is not as fast as it used to be. I can't do the things that I used to do when I was younger. You can't. It just doesn't work that way. You know what I'm saying? And 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 I'm trying to I'm trying to look younger as long as I can. So I gotta be a little bit smarter than that with how I'm eating and my eating habits and patterns at minimum. But I'm a red meat lover. Like I love steak. I got a steak in the fridge right now. Literally thawing out. I gotta portion it out and then I'm hopefully cook it for at least two of my meals this week. But I told myself after that one steak in the fridge, after that one steak, I got to fall back, man. I can't really be doing the red meat thing. I I'm going to have to fall back from red meat to maybe like once a week tops. Once a week tops because I notice a very big difference in how I feel after I eat a meal in which red meat was my main protein or when it's like fish. And I think that's why I was gravitating to sushi so much because when I eat su like fish and sushi and stuff like that, I, I feel full, but I don't feel over full. I never feel stuffed. I never feel tired, weak, groggy, like lazy, like weighed down. I just feel like red meat takes way too long to process through my system. And it just makes me feel stuffed. Almost like I overate, even when I don't overeat that kind of thing. And I don't really like that feeling. You know, I like to feel light on my feet. I like to feel, you know, like I just ate, but I'm ready to go. I'm ready to do whatever. Red meat. Sometimes I'll be eating red meat. I feel like I need to lay down. I need to sit down for a little bit. I need to let my food digest. I just think it takes too long to digest and process through my system. It just weighs me down physically when I, you know, when I'm done eating it. So. I'm gonna get back on my diet, all right? We, you know, I'm, I'm gonna try to get back on my diet to take care of myself a little bit better. You know, I know I'm not going on vacation anytime soon or nothing like that. And sometimes we tend to only do these things when we're going on vacation and when we're doing something big and fancy. But at the end of the day, you gotta take care of yourself, man. You know what I'm saying? You only get one life. You know, sometimes if you start a bad health, you know, an unhealthy habit, it's hard to kick it when you need to. So sometimes you got to keep yourself in check. 
you see that scale moving up a little bit you gotta say all right i'm down sir <laughs> time to bring it back down time to get yourself back in check so that's usually what i do and I, i'm trying to lose that weight that I, I put back on since i got back from europe so wish your boys some luck in that y'all know the deal man if you guys enjoyed today's episode as always leave a like this tower is wrapping up and like i said uh twisted tower and action movie tower up next Nothing too spectacular, nothing I'm really looking forward to. I am really, really frustrated and annoyed that the devs have refused to bring back the OG Tower of Horror. Like, it just kills me inside that they keep recycling all of these towers in the Lin Kuei Tower, when mind you, Lin Kuei was the number two tower, and it's been brought back like six or seven plus times already and they refuse to bring back the Tower of Horror. Let me know how y'all feel about that in the comment section below. As always, like, like I said, if you enjoyed today's episode, leave a like, show it some love, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys next time with Main Mania.